Hello everyone. I want to add an electric opener to this gate and in preparation of that I spent a few hours last weekend to level the gate, to raise it a little bit on this side so it no longer drags on the grass when it swings open. I made a video about that, it was all done and it um, was supposed to be the first part of the video, was kind of pre pre preparing the gate and then the second one would have been to add the electric opener. But then I realized how windy it is and how much wind resistance this specific gate has. It has those wide rails instead of round tubes and I wasn't sure if this was going to work with the electric opener. So I thought before installing the opener, let's swap out the gate. So this is a 16 foot utility gate and it has a lot less wind resistance. I don't even feel it in this strong wind. You can just hold it and it doesn't get pushed that much. So this will be a lot better. Nice. Taking the old gate off is really easy. It just sits on top of those hinges. Sometimes the upper hinge is screwed in from the top, so you cannot lift it. But on this one, I can just lift it up. And then move it away. The new gate comes with new hinges too and while the old ones are still okay this one is way too low so this is the hinge and this is where the hinge connects on the new gate so i need to move it up and then i guess i just use the new one same situation on top although here the new one no the old one is much higher than the new one needs to be and this one is adjustable. So I guess I put in the, the bottom one first and then I can adjust the top one on the rail with this clamp. The weather seems a bit unstable. We got a few drops of rain earlier and then some rain on the forecast for tomorrow. So I really want to finish this whole thing today. So the bottom hinge is in a fixed position and I need to prop up the gate a little bit so it's clear of the ground and that dictates where the bottom hinge um, goes into the post. And then on the top one I have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'll figure out the bottom one first. And it really doesn't need to be super low to the ground. I mean we are not trying to keep anything in or out this is wide open anyway so i guess if i just move it up by quite a bit and that should make sure it's not dragging anywhere even when the grass is a little taller well, all i really have to do is marking where Let's mark the, the bottom, the bottom of the hinge. So this is pretty much, I need to drill, is pretty much where the bottom of the hinge will sit. Screw this in. I'm not screwing it all the way in because this gives me a little more wiggle room to, to level the gate. I can bring this one more in or more out and the same with the top one and that hopefully helps me to get the gate 
relatively level. So and then for the top one, I just take a measurement. This can be from the bottom of the bottom hinge to the to the bottom of the top hinge. It's 34 inches. So then I need to measure 34 from the middle of this one. Right about here. And I also want them obviously vertically aligned. So this is here. Well, let's hope for the best. So now I can tighten the top hinge. And now I have to bring this one in a lot more so the gate lifts up on this side. So let's try this again. So far so good. It swings freely and although it's really windy today there's not a lot of wind, wind resistance with this one much much less than with the other one so the other one was really hard to, to hold in place and this one for sure it, it swings backwards but I think there's also a little bit of a slope going backwards so it swings to this side more freely than to the other side and also the wind is pushing from this side but not bad so I call this a success and I can now start installing the electric opener. So this is the gate opener I will be installing. It's a ghost control model number, I don't remember, put it here on screen. It comes with the bunch of accessories, so it's a whole kit, it comes with the control box has all the electronics and that mounts relatively close to the gate and it comes with the solar panel it's a 10 watt panel to charge the battery this whole thing is battery operated they don't ship you the 12 volt battery you can use any car battery so I will be installing it now oh it also comes with a whole bunch of, of fasteners so bolts nuts whatever it also comes with the bracket for the solar panel which i'm not using i made my own bracket so i can put it on top of the post so i'm mounting the controller to, to this little frame that i built and oops to get it as watertight as possible i'll put some caulking to the back of those screw holes. And for good measures, I put some caulking on the inside as well. Very nice. So the solar panel I'm going to mount to the top of the post. We are in, in South Texas or Central Texas and the sun is always relatively high up in the sky so I can just tilt it backwards All right, it doesn't work with the screw. Well, if a screw doesn't work, it needs to be a cable tie.
All right, this is good enough for now. They even included a little screwdriver to connect the terminal. So the solar charger or solar panel goes to those two terminals here in the back. So now for the actual control arm. They, the, the bracket that they supply, this is what goes on onto the post, this bracket here. And then this is for a square post. So I made this bracket that, that I can mount to my round post. And then I can mount this to here. And instead of using the supplied bolts, I'm using these timber lock screws. They are five, a little over five inches long and they screw directly into my fence post. And I'm putting the control arm on this rail. So I should mount the bracket in line with this rail right here. And this is where the middle of the bracket will be. Before I screw it in place, I add a good amount of construction adhesive. This is Loctite PL510 wood construction adhesive. So the instructions say I need to have four inches of clearance between where this arm will go on the bracket and the gate itself, which I pretty much have even on the inner holes. So I guess I'm going for the middle one, which gives me almost five inches of clearance. So I'm going for the middle one here. Well, I guess it's not the middle one, it's the third from the inside. So I guess this can get a little fiddly. Oops, already dropped something. So this arm needs to go on the inside and there's this nylon spacer that also needs to go on the inside. Actually, there's one for the bottom, one for the top. Put this bolt through. All right. And then this whole thing is repeated in the front. And this is where we measured the distance before, where I have now four inches between the gate and the bracket. Okay. Awesome. So now I can connect the control arm harness. It connects to the operator terminals and it's all color coded. Red to red. Okay. So now I need to connect the battery and I guess I should have read the instructions because the battery cable needs to go through this strain relief thing first. It has those bigger connectors and if the other cable is already in, then they don't fit. So I had to undo the cable for the solar charger, for the solar panel, take it out, then get this one in first and then get the one for the solar panel in. But it's all done and now I can connect the battery. So this is the battery I'm using for now. This is a car battery. It's the same one I'm using for the diesel heater in the winter time. Won't be needing it for another couple of months. So I will see how it turns out on the gate. Well, now for the interesting part, the manual says, turn it on. It beeps a lot. Press 
and hold the remote transmitter button to run the arm out a few inches. All right, that works. Okay, now I need to, I guess I need to turn it off again. And I need to attach the bracket to the gate. Move the gate to the desired open position, which would be this. And then attach the control arm with this bracket. All right, now I need to turn it on again. Turn the control box on. Press and hold the jock close button until the gate reaches your desired close position. It moves. Okay, that's my desired close position. Use both jog open and jog close as needed to fine tune your desired close position. Well, I guess that's good enough. Press and hold the first set button until it beeps, then release. Press the remote transmitter to activate the gate and let the gate fully open. Hold the f So that's the one in the middle. Well, the remote is on the inside. <laughs> so this was with, with the remote now. And it opens. Awesome. And let me close it again. Wow, this works great. There's also a feature that you can set to auto close. So I guess the idea is if you open it on your driveway and you drive in or you drive away, then it automatically closes after a set number of seconds. I don't really need that because, I mean, this is not in my driveway really. And when I open it, I usually open it when I have to mow the lawn or get in and out a lot. So I will not use the auto close feature for now. And I guess that's it. I have to tidy up the cables a little bit. And I guess, well, eventually fine tune the open and close position. But, and maybe, and maybe I will disconnect this beeper. I really don't need that. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Wait, 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 one, one second before you go. I want to show you two updates that are already made. I added a steel cable from the left side of the gate all the way up to the post. So, so this will also help to stabilize it and lift it a little bit off the ground, take a little bit of the weight off the hinges. And the second thing is here for the control arm where it connects to the, the rails of the gate. I guess these brackets are made for two inch tubes and mine are only one and a half inches. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but I filled it up with, um, with a little bit of PVC pipe that I wrapped in some Gorilla tape. The color matches the gate quite nicely. And now the, the, these clamps, the, these tension bands don't have to compress that much because the gate rails are much thicker here where where these brackets connect i hope that makes sense okay that's it for now as always thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon bye bye